Hey everyone, so doing a little taste test tonight um, on an item that I passed over um, one time uh, and got another one that I, didn't, I wasn't really that big of a fan of. I passed over these, the pumpkin cheesecake croissants at Trader Joe's, um, and I got the little toffee cakes, which... I didn't eat the first finish. The first one, I kind of threw it out. But then the second one, I didn't have anything else here. And I wanted some for dessert one night. So I did just eat it. <laughs> and it was kind of good again. I, I wouldn't buy it again. But it was, you know, it was good at the time. So, you know. Um, but anyway, the other night, I was at Trader Joe's again. And they had some of these. Um, and I got, uh, I got one. So I cooked one right now. Um, you get two in the box. I cooked one right now, um, and I let it cool, so let's see how it tastes. Let me go get it. I had to put it in the microwave. Just to let it cool, because it's kind of hot. Some little insect keeps trying to, like, get on everything, and I can't get that one that I killed all his brothers and sisters. I don't know what they're after. All right, you guys. So this is how it looks. Looks just like the picture. And I have some coffee right here. I mixed um, pumpkin spice and Trader's Dark. Okay, let's see how this tastes. I don't know if I can eat it with this fork you guys. You get like a croissant. And this is the cheesecake filling right here. Hmm. It's good, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the whipped cream. When you use like ice cream or whipped cream or something with it. You know what's funny? Trader Joe's has these almond and chocolate almond croissants and chocolate croissants in the freezer section. Near, you know the, the area where the waffles are and stuff like that? They're always almost out of the croissants, but chocolate ones, but they have a bunch of almond ones. But I got a box of those chocolate ones a while ago. Remember, I cooked I cooked two of them, and they were good. But I still have two in there that I haven't cooked. <laughs> I don't know why. Like that's the type of thing I really have to be like in the mood for it. And with those croissants, you have to let them proof for like nine hours. So I could do it, but it's just. I, it's like I'm not, I haven't been to a point where I'm like, oh, let me put those out, you know? Mm. I like you guys. Um, they'll come up, just press not. It's really flaky. And I like that um, you don't have to cook it that long. It's like 25 to 30 minutes. Um, they tell you to wait, you know, about 10 minutes before you serve them, which is, I waited that and then some. Um, and they said, do not microwave. <laughs> some people try to microwave these. Um, so, yeah, you guys, these are really actually pretty good. You know, I've had a few misses with traders like desserts and stuff, but they're 
pumpkin blondies, which were like completely out yesterday. And these are pretty good. And um, there's something else I like. Um, I forget, but look at that, you guys. Look how flaky that is. And then just the filling is really just rich. Mm. But I think I would like it better, personally, if it's like, it's, yeah, you baked it up, right? But let it sit out, like, you know, or put it in the refrigerator or something, and let it chill, and then put it out when you're about to eat it, maybe, at um, room temperature, let it get to room temperature. Because, I think cheesecake, for me, cheesecake tastes better chilled. And so the filling is like, it's not warm anymore, but it's not completely like chilled yet. That's the only thing I would do, I'll do different with the other one. Just bake it, and just let it sit, or whatever, or put it in the refrigerator real quick or freeze it and zap it real quick and then take it back out and then maybe not the freezer because you might get ice crystals but get it to where it's kind of room temperature kind of like a cheese danish type thing mm. <laughs> sorry guys so yeah i recommend these i like the croissant part the most i just think it's really good for me though only criticism I probably would want less filling. You know. Um, but look, this is how they're supposed to look, actually. So they're supposed to get deflated a little more. And I didn't let it deflate all the way. Um, so, yeah. I, it looks like they let them sit out. And then that's how I think they should taste. Or it would taste better is if they've been sitting out. And got to like a more cold temperature. Like a cheese danish type thing. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit what, of the filling off. Just because, just, you know, personal preference. I do that with pie too, pumpkin pie. I just, I like a little bit of it. But like when I made sweet potato pie and stuff, I made a really thin crust so that the filling, no. So that the filling's really small in there. Not really thick, like they have on the can of that pumpkin. <laughs> mm, I could like that. So anyway, you guys, I recommend these. Go to Traders, get them, because it's pumpkin season right now. I don't, I don't know what they're going to be doing after Thanksgiving. They might start just having more Christmas type stuff. Right, you guys. They're about, I think, three ninety nine a box. I'm not sure. All right, you guys. Talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.